Hello, this is Dave Briner from Synergist Technologies and welcome back. Today I'd like to show you a cheap little workaround I use for Fusion 360 for my standard parts. It's not the cleanest workaround but it serves the purpose. So to begin I start an inventor and I'll open up um, some of my iLogic parts. Now don't go running away. You can do this with um, content center parts also. So all I do is uh, I'll come in here and I'll create a configuration for each of my parts. And for me, I typically make every part 12 inches. So that way I know that every part in my library, I'm going to start at one foot. Uh, I think one inch is a little bit too small. So I like uh, I like to do this so I just start everything at one inch now or I'm sorry 12 inches so I save uh, my part with a unique file name in a known location so that uh, ends up uh, creating a instance of every part every configuration that I want and um, and uh, that's going to be all of my standard parts so from there I'll come into fusion after I create an instance of every part that I need and I'll create a folder uh, a new folder for in my case I created one just called fusion parts alright so I end up coming a couple uh, categories I have structural pipe fittings and I can go on with this if I want so um, I happen to have in here and you can see in here that I have some square tubing channel uh, some wide flange beams angles so you can expand this any way you want. You can see that the naming convention is not real intricate. Just angle one by one by three sixteenth. Here I have two and a half, two and a half by one quarter. So uh, I created one instance for each. <clears throat> so what I like, what I, uh, what I can do then is I can come in here and I can open or insert it. I'm going to insert it into my current design. And of course I forgot to save, so I'll just save this as. Um, let's just put uh, test and I like to use I don't know 3117 today's date alright so what it does it now creates a file for that and I am going to insert into current design and I can move this in move it around whichever way I want and I'll just say OK so you can see that when it comes in it's going to come in at 12 inches just like I said now the key to this is that we you must break the link so I'm just going to right click on the part and break the link now what that does it gives me the advantage of I can come in and I can use my push pull and do whatever I want so it's 12 inches and if I add 6 I'm going to have an 18 inch piece so you got to kind of remember that's why I always work from 12 inches uh, if I want to take it below 12 inches I'd say minus 6 and now I have a 6 inch long piece so it's it works pretty well everything's based off of the 12 inches All right. I come in and there it is 18 All right. So I can continue, and now the thing is, I have a version up here, and let's just uh, insert it again. I'm going to insert uh, into the current design, and I, I'm going to pull this one out. I'll just leave it there. I'll say OK, and you'll see that I have a instance two. I need to break this link, and now I can come in and. Do whatever I want so I can make this so now I have 22 inches right. and I can then go in and put in uh, other sizes and I'll move this out here I'll say okay break the link and again I can use push pull 
to move this to anything and I'll just say 8 I'll make that 20 inches long so now I have uh, unique parts and I can continue to go on here and I can place a sketch on any one of my parts and I'll just place a circle and I can go I'll just cut that through and since each of these parts is unique I can edit them in any fashion I want without affecting any of the others so uh, I can come in and put a I can put a 45 on that and it doesn't affect the other so what I did earlier let's see I have a uh, let's look for my six let's see if I have it here 6 by 15 I'll put a 6 by 15 beam in now this is again these are my standard parts that I've created uh, with fusion so you know I had them uh, it works well and uh, no sense not using them since I already had them I'm gonna break this link and again just like anything else I can use push-pull and change this to whatever I want earlier today what I did is I put in here's one here it's a test uh, content center beam so I took this beam right out of content center and I uh, saved it at 12 inches I made a custom part so I'm just going to insert this into my design and I'll just change that around so I can see it and I can break the link now the only the color that's just an appearance difference so that can be changed um, so just like all the others I can come in here and move these any way I want which works pretty nice and even though this is a content center part an old content center part I can come in and uh, let's just put a hole right there so there you have it so is it the best system certainly not but until fusion uh, changes and gets their own content center I think this is something that you can use you can work around and um, it's certainly a lot easier than having to build all your own standard parts again you can use this for uh, structural members uh, you can use this I have some here for some pipe fittings I have elbows so you know if you typically have a uh, a type of part that you need uh, often this at least solves the immediate problem um, I hope this is a, a value to you and you get some good use out of it um, I uh, I use it quite a bit so good luck and um, enjoy using fusion all right thanks for joining me until next time this is Dave Breiner